Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. So on that note, uh, let's start the video. This video is about providing the solutions for week 4 assignment of programming in modern C++ course. Friends, uh, these solutions are 100% correct. And if you want to suggest any changes, you can comment in the comment section. So we'll try to sort out that. But uh, everything, every question is tested on the compilers and I have got the answers. So based on that, I am giving these solutions. So these are not just uh, guessed answers. These are 100% proven answers. Uh, please watch the video till the end without skipping. Because if you skip the uh, video, you may miss some content. So please do watch full video. So moving on to the first question. Consider the following code segment. So they gave a code and they are asking what will be the output or if any error they, are, they want to specify that error. So here in the first question we do not get any output. We will get an error. So the error also they have given. It is compilation error and what is this error means so here here my class yes is a static data member so it cannot be initialized some, uh, some other way it should be initialized only at its definition so here we have initialized here so this gave the error for us so we will get Compilation error. So mark option D as correct answer for first question. And moving on to the second question. Consider the following code segment. So they have given a code and they are again asking for the output. So when I did this, I have got the answer as. 25611 that is fourth option so mark option d as correct answer for second question so option d is the correct answer and moving on to the third question So again they have given a code they are asking for the output or error so here we have successfully got the output but not error this time so for third question the answer is 0 1 2 0 1 and 2 so the, this is option A so mark option A as correct answer for third question option A and moving on to the fourth question consider the following code segment here they are not asking the output instead they have given the output and they are asking if you see here fill in the blank at line 1 such that the output will have will be 4 and 5 here they are already given the output that is 4 and 5. They are asking which, uh, with which of the following options should we fill this blank at line L1. So at line L1, this is the line L1. So we, in order to get the 4, 5 as output, we have to place which of the following options in place of this dash dashed lines so the answer for fourth question is option b that means static if we place static here then in this blank then we will get the output as they specified 4 and 5 so the answer is option b and moving on to the fifth question Friends, I have already given uh, quiz assessment answers for third week also. You can view in the NPTEL playlist I have created in my channel. So for fifth question, they, are, they have given the core segment and again similar format as the above question. 
they already given the output that is 15 so in line 1 here this is line 1 in line 1 uh, with which of the following options if we place in this blank we will get the output 15 so for fifth question the answer is option A so if we put this in this blank then we will get 15 as the output so mark option A as correct answer for fifth question and moving on to sixth question they have given the core segment and they have also given the output that is 10 here output is 10 and they are asking with which of the following options when placed at line 1 we will give the output 10 so for sixth question here there are two answers the first one is option A int mutable and the second option is option B mutable int even though we, uh, if we interchange these words the keywords uh, we will get the same result that is 10 so the correct answers for sixth question are option A and along with that option B and moving on to seventh question so consider the following code so here they gave line 1 a blank so with which of these following options when placed at line 1 we will get the output 5 so for seventh question the line 1 should consist of option A so when we place the option A in this blank I mean the statement in the option A in this blank we will get 5 as output so for seventh question the correct answer is option A only and moving on to the eighth question so in the eighth question so what should be placed in the line 1 in order to get 2 5 as 2 comma 5 as output so for this the correct answer is option B this is the correct answer so mark option B as correct answer for 8th question and moving on to the final question of this assessment that is 9th question so it is again similar they gave line 1 as blank and they want the output 5, 5 and 15 so with which of the following options when we place in this line 1 will we get 5 15 as output so what is that option they are asking so for ninth question the answer is option B friend class B so if you place this uh, statement here instead of these dashed lines then we will get 5 15 as 5 and 15 as output so for ninth question the answer is option B so friends, these are the solutions for week 4 programming in modern C++ course. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. I will try to reply for the valid queries. So for further more videos like this and also regarding other courses, keep supporting our channel. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.